If you're in the market for a new CRM or needing to transform your current sales process, you've probably already thought about industry leaders like Salesforce and HubSpot, but is the time and investment really worth it? In the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna share why Monday CRM needs to be in your shortlist and why it's the fastest CRM to implement and adopt. Hi, I'm Josh, founder of Fruition, a global Monday partner. Over the last 12 months, we've implemented over 100 CRMs for small and medium and large organizations. Today, we'll cover CRM basics like dashboards, leads, opportunities, everything you need to know to make an informed decision on the right CRM for yourself. If you need a hand with your Monday CRM, we'd love to hear from you. I'll leave my details below. Let's get into it. All right, to get started, I'm gonna give you a quick housekeeping tour of the entire Monday CRM platform so you know exactly where to navigate when you get started. Um, if you stay till the end of this video, I'll actually show you exactly how you can get started with Monday CRM on an extended trial with Fruition as your monday.com partner. So getting into it, in the top right hand corner, you'll see all of your settings. So this is your account settings, your personal preferences, managing users, permissions, all of that is up here in the top right hand side. You can also see that you can search across the entire platform as well. So this allows you to look for uh, potential contacts or opportunity names, job numbers, or even proposal files, which you can store directly on Monday. So it's really important to note that Monday is actually 100% cloud-based, so you can actually take the platform with you as well um, on mobile and Android and iOS devices. Um, so within the platform here, if we just come back into this view, we're actually viewing it in the desktop actually today. Um, we can also see all of our notifications come through into one place. So this is where you may get mentioned in a comment or maybe a actual task gets assigned to you. All of that information will stay within Monday in context, which is really helpful. And you receive those notifications via mobile or via email so you don't miss a thing. If you come over to the left hand side here, you can actually see the home page where you can see your most recent visited boards and views within Monday. And Probably the one of the most valuable things I feel with Monday CRM is actually the ability to roll up all of your tasks based on when they're due or by priority. And it's a really useful view to be able to see all of your information in one place. So you can actually get started with a cup of coffee, start of the day, go ahead and get all of those overdue items done, everything that you need done today as well. But also if you're a part of the leadership team within an organization, you can actually start to see all of the different other tasks that make up your team's uh, workload as well. So right here, I can come in here and add another team member. So if I'm filling in for someone or needing to um, check in on how they're progressing with some of that workload, this is a great way to see all that information in one place. Um, Coming over to the left here, we can actually see sequences. So this is email sequencing. This allows you to create custom processes using Monday's sequence function, which is a mixture of automated emails with steps and stages with daily frequencies as well. You can set up all of those rules and notifications as you need to. Super valuable to stay on top of your email follow-ups um, and make sure that you're making the most of those leads that are coming through. You're also able to manage mass email uh, functionality within Monday. So that's up to 2000 emails a day you can actually send directly from Monday. So this allows you to send out newsletters, maybe special offers and things like that as well. So just coming into the actual structure of how Monday actually operates, it works on a workspace structure. So this allows you to um, divide by department or function. So not only can you run your sales team in here, but you can also run potentially your finance operations, even some of your project management teams within the CRM platform itself. Um, and this is a, serves as a great way to ensure that people are within their own designated workspace. Um, but Monday also allows you to create create automated workflows between those departments and workspaces as well. Cool. So to start with today, I'm going to start right at the top. So this is where we can manage all of our data insights with reporting and dashboards within Monday. So this is a more holistic sort of revenue operations view. You can actually see all of your total managed revenue, any kind of rene renewal data that you need to see um, coming out month on month, um, potential anything at risk 
also your sales overview and dashboard you're able to start to see your deal conversion between different stages so when new opportunity all the way through to close and what our win rate looks like um, we can also start to see here all of the information around what our targets are what our numbers are to date what's our forecast for the month um, and we can also start to see potentially opportunities at different stages as well now the really valuable thing with monday crm is a really simple and easy way to actually forecast revenue as well so we can retrospectively look at our pipeline and start to predict what kind of revenue is likely to come in in the future months uh, this is a really valuable way to ensure that um, we're we're tracking all of those uh, opportunities and we can start to see a little bit more forward um, within this view the the actual dashboard is interactive as well so we can actually click onto any part here and actually see a little bit more information around more specifically um, what the breakdown is. We can even come into here and start to communicate, which is really valuable if you want to support your team, maybe get a little bit of an update on exactly how things are, are tracking as well. So you can see how you can go from a 30,000 foot level view right down into a maybe a bottleneck, really quickly mitigate and move on. Uh, now, continuing on here, let's talk about the sort of life cycle or maybe the customer journey for uh, someone that would enter Monday as a new lead all the way through to qualifying and closing. Important to note that with Monday.com, there's a number of different ways that you can get the data directly into the platform. So as an example, if you're receiving a new lead from the website or if you're getting a referral from one of your referral partners, potentially you want to just add it in yourself manually or even potentially upload some of the contact data that you already have access to. So I'm going to talk you through really quickly how you can get some of that information directly into the platform. The first one is manually entering it. So you can click new lead, you can enter those details, you can make some of those details mandatory as well um, and hit save. From there, the other option here is that you're able to go ahead and design a form. And this basically takes the structure of the lead management function. So you can capture all the details that you need upfront. And this is great because you can actually share this form as a link and potentially load it into a new page. The other way that we can actually manage this is we can use the embed link. And this allows us to use the embed code directly onto your website, like your contact page, or it could be potentially a landing page. The other way that you can actually share this is also using a QR code. So the QR code could be uh, used and printed on material like marketing material for trade events and things like that. Um, and, you know, someone could scan that with their phone and fill, fill in their details on their mobile phone, making it really easy to capture that information. The other way is that you can actually get this data into Monday is by importing it directly using an Excel spreadsheet which is really useful for importing um, pre-existing contact lists that you already have. Monday then allows you to map the details to the correct columns as well. So really, really neat feature getting that data into Monday. The other way that you can actually get information directly into Monday is by actually emailing into the board itself. So each one of these Monday boards here, this is what we refer to as a Monday board, is and has its own email address. So as an example, this email address here, I could BCC on any of my emails and it would come directly into Monday, bringing across all of the files and potentially um, content and information that we need a part of that email, making it really easy to capture all that information. The other way is that we can also start to use some of our APIs. We use make.com, which integrates with lots of different platforms and allows us to bring that data directly into the platform as well. Now, within this view here, along the top, you can see your different types of views. And a really powerful thing about Monday is its flexibility. So you can actually see um, this type of data in different formats. My personal favorite is actually the table view. I like to see all my data in, in one sort of view here um, and be able to toggle between uh, columns and scroll left to right, which is 
how I prefer. A lot of teams that I speak to that implement CRM are actually more in favor of the Kanban view. Um, and this is how that Kanban view can look as an example. So we can see those different stages left to right, um, and we can see all of those different leads that we're working on. So as an example, if we were working on Zoe, as an example, if we just actually brought up this lead, we can actually see all the content of that within the item card view. Now within this item card view, I can actually move this lead along between the stages, and I can also see all the information related to that lead. In addition, you can actually email directly from Monday as well. So within this view, we can actually uh, send and receive emails um, directly from within Monday. And we can also even set up some of those uh, emails as templates to speed up some of the response time that we have as well. So I can go ahead and send that email. And when Zoe, for example, responds to that email, then I would also be able to receive that response here, but also in my Outlook or my Gmail as well. So it gives you the flexibility of maintaining the um, information in Monday, but also having the flexibility of responding directly from your email as well. So uh, within this, we can also start to track all of our different activities, like we can schedule meetings from here directly. Um, we can also start to manage those different types of activities that could be follow-up notes or tasks for us as an example. Um, and a really great way to ensure that we have a full history of what's exactly happened with that customer to date. We can also set up the date in the future as a follow-up, go ahead and add that. And you can see now that we're starting to create a bit of a timeline of events within this view as well. So once we've started to progress this opportunity, we can then move this into a qualified uh, opportunity. And you'll be able to see that we'll now move from the lead section uh, directly into our qualified section here, and it will now drop down into our pipeline. Now within the pipeline, we can see Zoe's actually come into our pipeline view. We can then start to populate the contract value. And based on the stage that we're at, Monday's really clever with the way that they've used the formula function it now gives us a total probability. So the probability when it's a brand new opportunity is say 15%, but say if I was to then move this to a proposal stage, that would then jump up to 60%. Now based on the actual expected close date, we can now see what that likely forecast is for the month. Other great ways to start to visualize data within Monday is by categorizing the type of opportunity, but also starting to break down those key steps to actually win the business as well. So if we can start to progress this, we can then see that overall progress across all of our opportunities in one place. So that's how we can start to manage our leads and also our opportunities. But another really important factor is all of those different contacts that we're coming through uh, are really important to start to create and manage a database. Now within this database, when a lead gets qualified, it actually checks if it is a duplicate or not. If it is a duplicate, then it won't add a new contact. It'll just connect that new opportunity to the existing contact. Now, if it is a brand new contact, when it gets qualified in, it'll create that for us. So that duplicate checker will really allow us to ensure that we're not um, double handling data within Monday as well. Now, the other powerful thing within the platform is if I was to click onto a particular person or a contact, I can now start to see their entire history. So they may be a repeat customer that's done work with us in the past. We can actually start to see all of those email comms with that individual in the past. I can also see anywhere that they have transacted with us in the past or what maybe account they might be connected to, any leads that they've um, generated in the past as well. So this is really how you can use some of those custom objects really simply within Monday to start to create that 360 view of all of your accounts. Now, in a very similar sort of light, we can then start to segment this data. Um, if I was to select all of these contacts, I could add them to a mass email function um, within Monday. And then we can also start to um, create more customized design with a HTML editor as well.
so this is a really great way to make sure that we're staying in touch of touch with people um, and keeping them in sync with what's happening with our business as well now Continuing on with the segmentation side of things, we can actually start to filter and manage all of those different um, types of contacts, but ensure that we're messaging those particular types of contacts in the right way as well. So the filter functions are up here in the top, super easy to use. We can start to segment that and then save those views more specifically. Now, in the same sort of light, we can actually start to manage all of the different um, accounts that they may be associated to as well. So in the same uh, instance where our contact has relationships with leads or opportunities, or maybe even an account, you can see more on an account level where potentially multiple people may be associated to an existing account as well. So you may be dealing with a contact in different states or different countries, but maybe a part of the same entity. So ensuring that you maintain those um, relationships is really, really easy within the platform. Cool. So that's kind of a really quick run through of Monday CRM today. Um, I'll be doing a lot more deeper dives on this uh, in the future and breaking down a lot of these different components like automations and integrations. Please like, subscribe, follow along. Really keen to continue to share some of our knowledge and thanks for joining us today. And there you have it, Monday CRM. That overview covered everything that you needed to get you started. And as promised earlier in this video, you can actually get signed up on a brand new Monday CRM free trial for up to four weeks with our sign up link. So if you head over to the description, you can find that sign up link. And once you're set up, please get in touch. We'd love to see how we can tailor this CRM to exactly how you need to run it for your business and for your team. Looking forward to seeing you again and thanks so much for watching. Chat soon.